It's crux time here on The Jump. Chris Middleton's agent told Woj that his client will decline his $13 million player option as expected. Middleton is eligible for a five-year $190 million deal with the Bucks or a four-year $141 million contract elsewhere. Byron, will someone give Middleton a max contract? I don't know. I, and I like Chris. Uh, and obviously, it was smart for him to, to opt out of the 13 million. He's about to get paid. But the max? Ramona, I just don't know. Just a lot of teams with cap space. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't pay him max money, but I'd give him a big contract. I think yeah. he deserves that. There's a lot of teams with money. How much are going to pay him? Somebody going to pay him, huh? So, minutes after the Mike Conley trade broke, Ricky Rubio sent out a tweet that said, quote, it's time to just be happy. Mm. Being angry, sad, and overthinking isn't worth it anymore. Just let things flow. Be positive. Ramona, which team would make Rubio happy? <laughs> How about the Lakers? I mean, they, they need play. help. Like, they're, he can't they, shoot. Yeah, but Rubio is a guy who can make any anybody better. He just has to stay healthy. Defensively, runs yeah. the team. Yeah. I mean, Good he, passer. Rubio is a great little player. He just has to. He just has to play. I mean, Lonzo couldn't shoot, and they played pretty well with with him on the yeah. floor last well, season. If, if you get Ricky, and I agree with you, he is a good player. He, he does make other guys better because he's a willing passer. Guys yeah. are going to run the floor because he has the ball in his hands. He's going to deliver. But you better put two or three other good shooters out there on the floor. Next, the Miami Herald reports that Hassan Whiteside will opt in to the last year of his $27.1 million deal. Duh. Whiteside <laughs> came off the bench each of his last 19 games last season, and Whiteside and Dragic opting in pushes the heat already into the tax. Byron, any silver lining for your old coach, Pat Riley, with Whiteside opting in? Well, I think the silver lining is by February, he'll probably be on another team, and you can say that caps me. Expiring contract, yes, yeah. that could be possible. Mm -hmm. Uh, here we've got something else. Oh, actually, let's take a look at the Heat. So here's what the Heat have yep. expiring going into this season. Hassan Whiteside, Ryan Anderson, and Goran Dragic will expire this year. Uh, in f Going into the 21 offseason, they'll have James Johnson and Deion Waiters. So if they roll over the space to 21, which is a much bigger mm -hmm. uh, free agent class than 20 is, right? Because I think it's just Draymond, basically, at this point, right? Um, well, and Anthony Davis potentially. Yeah, Anthony Davis. So, it, it, honestly, they, he did them a favor by opting in. Yeah. <laughs> like, because yeah. they're over the cap either yeah. way. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's move on here. Yahoo Sports reported that the relationship between Chris Paul and James Harden was unsalvageable, which Chris Paul replied on social media by writing, Damn, that's news to me. <laughs> Daryl Morey also told Golik and Wingo this week that his backcourt <laughs> just wants to win, and tension is a good thing. Ramona, is the <laughs> rift between CP3 and Harden overblown? It's not overblown, but they're going to have to make it work, right? I, I, how, how are they going to trade him? I, I don't think they can. <laughs> I, I don't think that's possible. And I, I agree with Ramona. They're going to have to make it work. It's, it's not overblown. I do think there is a rift. But we all talked about this when this deal was done. Yeah. yeah. We all said, how is this going to work? Right. They both need the ball. Yeah. And, and it's obviously right now that there's some tension there in Houston with these two guys. I don't think it's crazy where they, you know, where like CP said, where he wants to be traded. But I do think, bottom line is, you guys gonna have to play together anyway. You got yeah. to figure it out. Got to work it out. Do they have to go back to the old Mike D'Antoni system of Phoenix, where the ball finds energy and they move the ball around a lot? Because that's what Mike used to be known for. And now it's ISO ball. Everything right. that the Rockets have done in the last couple of years has been catering to James Harden. Mm -hmm. James Harden is the sun, the moon, and the stars there, and. I think they have to keep it that way because he's their most valuable player. So, no, I don't think they go back yeah, to that. Yeah, it's, it's, this is uh, the old saying by Dennis Green. They are who we thought they are. Yeah. We well, were. Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. We, th these guys are who they are. This is what they are. Yeah. They are isolation-type players. They're not going to change this late in their careers mm -hmm. to something new. You know, and there have been a bunch of players who've said it on a number of occasions. In the regular season, this is going to get you 50-plus wins, but in right. the playoffs, you cannot win a championship playing this way.